welcome to the Pioneer Australia Service Centre. My name is Paul and today I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform the official Apple CarPlay firmware update on three compatible Pioneer head units. The AVIC F60 DAB, the AVIC F960 DAB and the AVHX 8650 BT. Before we get started, there are a couple of key points to highlight to ensure your firmware update progresses smoothly. The first point, you'll need a blank USB key to perform this update. Please make sure there are no other files stored on the USB key prior to connecting to your Pioneer head unit. The second point is please make sure power is not interrupted at any stage throughout the firmware update. This includes turning the ignition off before the firmware update has completed. And the third point, this firmware update tutorial is intended only for the compatible Australian Pioneer head units already mentioned. If you're unsure at all on how to perform this update, please contact Pioneer Tech Support prior to undertaking this firmware update procedure. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to download the Apple CarPlay firmware from the Pioneer Australia website. You'll find the firmware update available for you to download from the support section on the relevant product pages. Download the firmware to your computer and once downloaded, the firmware will appear as a zip file. You will then need to extract this zip file to reveal the folder called AVIC 5000 NEX. The next step is to copy that folder to your blank USB stick. Once the firmware is copied to the USB stick, you're now ready to hop into your vehicle and perform the update. We anticipate the update itself will take on average five minutes. Therefore, be prepared to leave your ignition on for that period of time. Once in your vehicle, the next step is to turn the ignition on. However, don't connect the USB at this point. With the ignition on, wait for your Pioneer car head unit to finish booting up and then press the settings button to open up the settings menu. Under the system settings, scroll to the bottom and select system information. Select firmware update and at this point, connect the USB stick with the firmware update and press continue. The Pioneer head unit will begin reading the information that's stored on the USB stick. This can take up to two minutes to read. Then the following screen will appear. Press the start button to continue. Please take note of the warnings. You do not disconnect the USB stick during the update procedure do not drive the car during the update procedure, and then you do not turn off the ignition during the procedure. This is very important. The Pioneer head unit will restart and continue the updating process. Once the update is completed, press the home key to reset the unit. The unit will boot as normal. At this point, you can remove the USB stick. To see if the firmware update has completed successfully, press the settings button. Under the system setting, scroll to the bottom and select system information. Select firmware information and the firmware version should read 1.06. Also, under the system settings, input output settings, and smartphone setup, there will be an option for Apple CarPlay. To test CarPlay, simply connect the compatible phone, enter your password, and CarPlay is activated. This concludes the Apple CarPlay firmware update procedure. If you have any questions or would like to know more information, please visit us at the Pioneer Australia website. Thank you.